Thanks for staying with us. You're still watching Ways Now. The International Day of Family is observed on the 15th of May every year. The International Day provides an opportunity to promote awareness of issues relating to families and to increase knowledge of the social, economic and demographic processes affecting families. There are many ways in which you can celebrate International Day for Families. You can set up activities for, fam for your family like board games, singing competitions and more. Uh, make this day about bonding with your family. Let me. Do this, you think this for this year? Do you think it's really necessary? See, let me tell you the something. The isolation period. I don't Guess done what that. has happened? No. Funny enough, it's even turned families the apart. Lord, that is it. Yeah, it because told, all I of was a sudden, that. yes, all of a sudden, everybody's realizing that. Who oh, they got married to? I don't even know you. Hmm. So we were so used to hiding in under the activity of I'm going to the office, and now you have you've been given time. To just be with your family and you cannot even truly be with your family. Even some children in boarding house or even universities don't even go home during holidays. Yeah. Well, at this period, they were forced to, to go, go home. home. So even some of them, they're not even used to their parents. Parents not used to their children. Couples not used to each other and all that. I knew that this was going to express it. You know, I was saying it, that lawyers are going to... <laughs> no, but guess what, Lami? <laughs> they're going to be a lot So of for, for me, my, my, my children, um, every day... Yeah. Because of the lockdown, and honestly, I can actually go out because my work is almost like essential. But well, I chose not to go out because I truly want to stay at home with, with them. Sam. You understand? And with every single day, you discover there's something it, new I'm discovering. Discover. And as I'm discovering, in fact, yesterday I still had a long conversation till late mm -hmm. in the night. You understand? With Sam. We're, we're discovering something every day. So this family bond is very important. And if we must solve most of the problems no, that we're talking family about. Family is the bedrock of the that society. Is this, that no, is it. No, if we, no, if no, we no, do not get into it. So that's that. to tell you that this large problem that we're seeing is Starts because of the, the deficits that we've had yeah, I totally within the family agree. system. Totally so we agree. have to. So I think we need to dedicate more time yeah, for the family. Absolutely. Yes. Okay, so what did you find for us in the news? Well, for me, addition of the presidential spokesperson, I think he had an interview sometimes i think last week mm. with uh, one radio station and he made a lot of comments and that um threw up a lot of criticism and all that from so well, well but what really intrigued me with this story is that through one of his uh, media social media platform mm -hmm. he was talking about obasanjo would have insulted those demanding from presidential address and that shocked me mm. The temerity, the, the audacity to, to, to tell Nigerians that you're asking for your right is too much. You know, I really do not understand if, especially the spokespeople spoke and um, people around in the presidency, really, do you think that when you're serving the country, are you doing us a favor? You're not doing us a favor. You're actually a servant. If you cannot be a good leader if you're not a good servant. So I really do not understand. It doesn't mean, is there a sense of entitlement? We're asking for a right. Let me tell you, part of the what, especially this time of pandemic, what mm. a good leader should do is you have to be sane mm. to motivate your people, to inspire them Absolutely. that there are good days ahead. So, and you have to match it with actions. When this is deficient, of course, people will raise, a lot of presidents and all the leaders all, all over the world are doing daily briefings. Mm. Not even weekly. So if as Nigerians we are asking to see our president, is it too much? So why are you now um, trying to um, what's equate failure with failure? You are, you are comparing failure with failure. You're saying if it was Obasanjo. So if Obasanjo had done that, would that be right? Is it threatening us or what? I really do not understand him to have come out. I've said it countless times. I will keep talking about leadership here because for us leadership is, on this platform is one of the biggest, you know, reason we are here. here leadership people still don't understand that leadership means servanthood they don't they don't understand that they think it is lordship it's service you know they think it is lordship and that's why i'll keep using leaders i will not say our rulers you know whether they like it or not they have to get to that point where they understand that they are leaders they are not, not rulers. rulers they are people that you are supposed to lead and when you lead by example you will get good good following yeah you understand so they need to understand that and I think my own story is actually some, somewhat in line with this because I saw the video. I mean, um, I, I, at some point, I just got tired because, you know, I was ranting last week about police harassment and all of yes. that. So a video surfaced online. It was, first of all, the writer. 
a last month official was beaten to pop. Guess who? By, By who? police officers. By police officers. That, that was you know, It was crazy. You know, the, the man was unconscious. And the claims, according to what I had and guess read, what, when I saw the video, he didn't get help immediately. No, he didn't. Were they leaving him <laughs> for dead or something? No, <laughs> he didn't get help. So, and what I what I even saw was that they. I mean, the, the story I read, the backstory no, was that. that story was shameful. <laughs> the backstory was that the the police, the last man was inter. No, the last man had um, stopped. Was doing the right thing. Doing the right thing. To the police stop were doing people. the opposite. The police wanted those citizens to go and like take like one way so that mm. they could collect bribe mm. from them. You know, this lockdown period, police have been having a field day. Mm. You know, because I have seen it with my <laughs> eyes. It's not like something that mm. maybe is hearsay. I've seen them actually harassing and extorting money from people. But once they see me approaching the checkpoint and they see that it's pressed, they let me go. Uh, until some um, obazilious ones. So and you, you know you've made trouble at, uh, I don't have any choice. I have to make trouble because that's all I have. <laughs> you know, because if not, they want to extort money from you. You are an essential worker. And I've heard so many cases of people that are traveling with goods, Food items. They are claiming that the police would say that they should drop one bag of uh, whatever. Are you yes, they have been constant outcry from the people. So what it was, what made me a lot more um, surprised, what shocked me the most with this was that. So this your harassment doesn't stop at normal citizen. This is an officer as well, authorized by the Lagos State government. He's he he, he is the same authority that you have. He also but, has that authority. But we always have issues with soldiers. And last man all, and police and all of that. The Why do they feel that some people are superior they, than yeah, others? Yeah, they just don't have discipline. I really do not understand. You know, so I think the I Ministry hope, of Interior needs to look into Yeah, and I hope that the police will also, you know, call these people. Thank God now we have well, I don't know if there will be any consequence. Well, it, there has to be. I really do not know. No, the police PRO, trust me, the man is on his, his and the Inspector General too does not take, Condu no, he doesn't condone, condone all of these things. All right, we'll see what So they would bring them to book. But that's very sad. Mm. That's very, that's very sad. They will, they will bring them to book. A last mile officer? No, that's very sad. <laughs> and I think Lagos, they should take it on with them. They should take it on with them. Yeah, because even as well, when I read the story, they said the PRO for last mile hasn't made any comments. Wow. You know, he's, he's, he you know, has confirmed the incident, but no comments. Because yet. this last month, Fisher, I, sometimes I really, um, I really pity them because you want them to enforce the law, but they don't have any, uh, any, Funny enough, any weapon. Guess what? The leadership of last month, they've been really good because I see them consistently training and retraining. You know, remember when last month first started? Was, last month uh, was a menace. <laughs> they were like, they you were, know, but. <laughs> They Over the dangerous. years, with the new leadership that kept coming, I knew the former last man boss. I knew the, I know we know the present last man boss. It has it's completely changed. changed. It's no longer the last man of before. Now they are more focused on reorienting the because citizens than extorting them. the citizens. Yeah, because they're so the police needs that risk. that kind of. You but know. I, mean, I think they need protection one way or the other. Yeah, but it, they don't have to resort to giving them arms. I'm not saying that, but they should get a measure of protection somehow. I well, think we need to get to that. A lot of them get, get killed. Mm. They, they, get, they get exposed to a lot of harm. Mm. Yeah, they do. Okay. <laughs> All right, so as we said earlier today, we're talking about building a strong immune system because we don't know where this is going right now. Wow. So if push comes to shove and we have to do head immunity, are we ready for that? And we have Dr. Niso Chi. She will join us right after the break. Please stay with us. We'll be right back.